enter of your own free will. Count Dracula. When one guy makes a play for another guy's wife, things can get pretty messy. So much blood in this show. And we've started to work with it a little bit. Um, and it's, it's really fun. Last night we started working with the blood in a sequence that it has to spray kind of everywhere. And it was that moment where the costumer was like, okay, now you have to stay out of the line of fire. The vampire, of course, is Dracula. And after seeing it as a kid, Leonard Barrett Jr. realized he was born to play the role. You, this man belongs to me. Once we saw it, my brother would always comment on the fact that I slept like him. And it freaked him out. All through our childhood, we slept in the same room. And every time he'd come in, apparently, I'd be like this. I was not aware of it. The musical is actually a love triangle among Dracula, the bewitching Mina, and her husband, Jonathan. But the show also pulses with horror. So the relationships are, well, complicated. This must be uh, my fiance, Miss Mina Murray. Uh, there are scenes when Mina is terrified of Dracula and terrified of his power and terrified of her own feelings for him. And in those moments, it's really easy to see him as the monster. So you've got kind of a good and evil concept going there. Uh, and both of them have slices of the other. There is um, almost a two-year-old aspect to Dracula. Two-year-old in the sense when he wants a cookie, he wants a cookie. <laughs> when he wants milk, he wants milk. When he wants to go up, he wants to... It's just very pure. And it gets even more complicated when you throw in another guy, Van Helsing, who's also obsessed with Dracula and sets out to murder him. I, I think we've established in our society that quite often the anti-hero becomes the hero. And I think... I think it goes back and forth. I think people are cheering for Van Helsing part of the time and for Dracula the rest of the time. You'll do my bidding. You will taste a terror in the street. It's a frightening show with a monster in blood playing leading roles. Well, as purely as an actor, it's a lot of fun. You get to get your hands dirty and really dig in. But it, it, it it's gruesome. But the blood is also... A, a, a metaphor for life and for sexuality. It has to be present. You have to see the characters deal with it and they all have different feelings about blood. Good and evil, love and obsessions, and lots of blood. It all plays out in an eerie yet musical way in Dracula, now through November 7th. For tickets, go to auroraFoxArtsCenter.org or call 303-739- 1970. This is Rob Bogan for BroadwayWorld.com.